Hi Sagittarius, let's see if we can get you some advice on current situation or issues that may have you stressed and concerned, something you're worried about. We are using uh, Sarah Marchetti's Kipper and one of his tarot decks. I just don't remember which one it is, guys. If this reading does not resonate at all for you, check out your other sign position or other house placements, you know, sign placements in your houses. See if I was able to pick up energy there. Let's jump in this is for my Sagittarius. Let's find out the current situation, the energies right now that you're in. Pop, we've got adjudication, mediation. Yeah, it's trying to make a decision, but uh, there's a decision that's out of our hands because uh, there's a mediator to it. If we are not one of these down here, we would be the one making the decision. So let's see the real facts, the real real situation uh what's going on the fact of the situation not feeling that one guys hang on right there it is we've got family room family room it's personal matter so we may be the ones um either turning to someone else having to make a decision or we're having to make a decision made to mediate to bring um conclusion <laughs> to something so, let's see, uh, what's an illusion about this? Ideas or thoughts you need to release right now. We've got what? Expectations, but there's one more coming with it. Journey, journey, expectations, journey. I'll pull more. I'm going to pull the tarot and go a little bit deeper on this. A journey is just that. It's, it's a journey. It can be metaphorical kind of journey. <laughs> Uh, circumstances changing uh, based on decision or it can be a decision about a trip or a journey mm -hmm. let go of the expectations on it though because yeah mm, might not uh, be what we were hoping for uh, opportunity right now mm, message of concern message of concern let's clarify why we're at it own message of concern because this is opportunities and chances that are available to us right now uh great fortune great fortune but there's concern about it mm. i'll put like i said i'll pull more we'll go into the tarot and find out a little bit more here what you need to just forget about <laughs> don't rely on this whatever's coming out on this one is unattainable unreachable oh not feeling that one where are we at? Right here for my Sag. Got child, a child, a child. What else? What else? Unexpected income, unexpected. Guys, with that one, it would be literally, it's like child support. Don't rely on it. It's unattainable right now. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. That's that's not going to happen. Even even if you know, because we got adjudication, the mediation and stuff. Even if it was an official court order, uh, the person there's no, there they've got nothing. So there's nothing that can be handed over. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's find out what is helpful. This this card should bring you out the help. Uh, main male, main male. Clarify my main male for me. The predominant energy right now, marriage, marriage, helpful. Okay, I'll pull on that one. Just hold on. Let's let's keep going. What's not helpful and what needs to be avoided right now? Mature woman trying to fix everything, guys, and being in the emotions and the feel of things. It's also the, uh, that sometimes that mature woman can end up being that, the mediator of something, trying to fix something. What's coming with it is courthouse. Legal matters. Quit trying to fix it. Ow. Bottom of the deck, we got a coffin. Something's come to an end. Mm -hmm. Definitely come to an end. On the undercurrent energy now uh, the one thing one thing i can say what it's really bringing to me sagittarius is we might be with someone that is being um you know illegal proceeding about child support stuff like that um message of concern great fortune 
Oh, let's see where things are headed. Uh, we, I, I'm not sure that it's us that is being, you know, like, I've got to pay child support or hand over something or if it's someone we're with. Because uh -huh. right now what is helpful is the main male predominant uh, active energy in the focus is not always gender, guys, and our commitment, our, our commitment to, to that main male energy. What's out in front of us is an official person. Official person. Let's clarify on that. Uh, official person is anyone in a uniform. It can be a police officer, military. It can be down to a doctor or a lab assistant, things like that. Let's see what's going to come out on the official house is coming out and a thief thief is coming out oh guys with a thief card that is about uh the one thing we see our little pickpocket here what is he pickpocketing in a watch time focus and energy uh -huh. we're getting something official uh an official i need a little bit more on that official person it's not making too much sense to me other than they could possibly be the house is being taken. That kind of thing. Despair. Despair. Something about house uh, stability, the home, home, that kind of thing uh, is causing some issues. Despair. Uh, the fact that we got official and courthouse, it could be uh, an outcome of something. This is this is not helpful over here, guys, on the mature woman. We've got occupation on the bottom of the deck to stay focused. Uh, the one thing the savory card brings in is someone stealing your time, your energy. Of you're focusing too much on you're in the feel of something, and it may not be at your actual issue it may be this person's issue and we have to leave it there with them instead of us trying to fix it let's let's get a little bit more here <clears throat> family, family room down here guys the fact of the situation is it has to do with family intimacy things like that mm -hmm. anybody that you would we're talking Victorian times, guys. You do not invite official people into this this room. This is where your friends and family, uh, friends would feel like family. They're that close to you. You would bring them into the family room, but everyone else would stay in the foyer or a more official visiting room, not the relaxed family room. So we're talking intimacy here. Let's come in on... What do I want to come in on here? <clears throat> let's go ahead and come in on the current situation. Let's let's clarify on that one. Pop. Follow your intuition on that. Everything may not be out in the open yet. There is a definite ending and think positive about it. A positive outcome on the things and uh, stay in your comfort zone. The one thing uh, about the nine of pentacles, it, it brings in independence codependency you know all sometimes it can be the icky dependencies uh, but it's also about interdependence the part of up here is i'm not so sure this is your issue as it is a partner or someone else you're involved with their issue but it's, it's making me feel like you've taken it on as your own issue uh-huh Ooh. okay what else on that one let it go, yeah, because that's part of grieving, disappointment, feeling left out in the cold. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not. It, it really may not be your issue. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it doesn't feel like it's your issue. But don't re don't depend on and rely on uh, unexpected income. For, you know, in the child, don't don't rely on any unexpected income. Ooh, let's go ahead and look at um, this one up here, the mature lady and the courthouse, because uh, that is what's not helpful and what to avoid. Can we get some clarification on that? Mm, card of charity. Yeah. Know where you're investing your time and energy and what you're focused in on, and especially when it comes to children. Mm-hmm. 
six of cups, the past, and because we're going back and forth here, um, chariot card is the it is a lot of times we say it's a victory card you're moving forward and it sometimes can represent that but most of the time with zero's decks it's a back and forth energy you're not actually moving forward you're just trying to hit the mark of something uh and it's telling you stay persistent uh -huh, but no back and forth uh feeling torn pulled in two directions and knight of cups uh pisces energy a need for boundaries uh, with Pisces energies because that's got our heart out on our sleeve. Let's see the outcome here. Outcome because we've got despair, the card, the thievery. Time is it definitely distracting time, but it's bringing in home. Um, it's making the home feel. What is that? Official person. Official person. Hmm. Hang, hang on. Spirit's bringing it. I'm getting getting a little quick. It's making it feel like the home. Our home. As a thief <laughs> that is is causing a bunch of despair, uh, the legalities of something uh, is officially causing despair. But let's do the official person. Let's see what the cards will bring out for me on that one. Got a Knight of Swords, Gemini. Communications are breaking down. Uh, Energy is moving too fast. Uh, communications coming in also. Mm, where we need it to stand up and have our boundaries because our home is being turned into a chaotic, official chaotic mess right now. So anything else on the official person? What does that entail? Fire, igniting a lot of fire, ambition. Yeah, I need to take care of myself with that Capricorn queen coming in. But sometimes, guys, in her shadow, she can can. Put her own well-being aside to nurture others. So, yeah. Mm. Opportunity here is a message of concern and great fortune. Let's see what that is. We've got move away from the storm. Uh-huh. Ooh, don't get drunk on your emotions right now. We had uh, patience. Mm -hmm. Know what to invest your time and energy into. Um, but hermit mode put some distance between you to get your introspection. Uh, the nine of cups is wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment. But what was we told to um, <clears throat> let go of down here? It's an illusion. Your expectations of of it being better than what you think it is. We're not candy cotton fluffing anything in the reading, guys. Uh, you you will be disappointed if you don't let go of some of your expectations. But I want to see a little bit more on. Let's do the Six of Swords real quick. Questions. Swords, because it's your thoughts. Is it possible that what I'm resisting is persisting? Yes. Mm -hmm. Trying to fix everything. Trying to get it under control when it may not be yours to control. Your Nine of Cups. Let's see the Nine of Cups. Because that's emotions. Do my intentions align with the highest best for all? That's a question to ask yourself. Seven of Pentacles. That's tangible resources. Time and energy. Guys, time and energy is tangible also. Is it possible that short-term thinking is affecting my long-term vision? Mm-hmm. Long-term vision. Because, you know, if you're with a partner and they are ordered to, to pay child support, provide a home, that kind of thing. Um, if they don't have it, it's, you know, it, it affects you. But if they're the ones that are trying to get the child support from someone, uh, it still affects you. But what is it telling us over here? Um one, two, three, four, no, four, five. It's not helpful to put any kind of uh, uh, un expectations that is going to come in when it realistically is unexpected income. Uh, don't place faith in it. Your expectations are not going to be met. So don't place any faith in it or uh, re try to rely on that. It's not going to be there. So, what's the other solution? Bottom of the deck. Occupation. Mm -hmm. That's a piecework. 
uh, think of somebody that's working from home or working, uh, doing their, you know, created their own, uh, think entrepreneur, things like that. Creating side hustles is manual labor. The occupation, she's a seamstress, guys. It's manual labor. But try to enjoy what you're do, uh, doing uh, when it comes to the manual labor. But think piecework. Um, you may have to pull inside hustles, extra jobs, extra extra income, other than the expectation that you get it from the whoever the child's other parent is. So mm, let's pull some more oracles here, Sagittarius. Guys, like I said, I'm not candy coating and fluffing anything. This is worries and concerns. We want the real deal here. If it didn't resonate at all for you, check out your other sign positions. But this one does involve uh, home, the intimacy, the it's got children involved, and money issues. See what's coming out. The sun, the sun is coming to shine its light to what's been kept hidden to reveal the truth. Mm -hmm. Everything's coming to the light. You got cancer energy, fourth house, the stability. We did get, I'm pretty sure we got the four of wands, which is solid foundation. Mm -hmm. Nurture all you love. Take time to care for your well-being and nurture the things you love. Capricorn. Capricorn, guys, Capricorn Queen, self well being. You have to be it to to show up for kids. You have to take care of self also. You also got the time is now. It is time to act now without hesitation and move past the old and move forward. Move past the old. What did it tell you not to rely on unexpected income for children? Phoenix, and it, it came out reverse, guys. Uh, Phoenix rising. You've been through the fire and rising up anew and embracing life in a deeper way. The I'm going to take it as reverse because I'm not holding the deck reverse, guys. But for some reason, it came out reverse. So we'll take it. We're resisting the change that needs to be made. And it is a reinvention of, I can't rely on this. I cannot rely on this to help. Mm -mm. So don't even attempt it. So yeah, let's get you some messages from Spirit Sagittarius. It's <clears throat> my Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you pop. It's only darkest before the dawn. Yeah. You'll be okay. You're exactly when and where you're meant to be. This is your breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Mental, emotional, sometimes physical breakthrough. Love your story or create a new one. Rescript some things on your expectations. Um, let go of things that you can't rely on. You're discovering your life purpose. And one more. Release toxicity. Release the toxicity of it. Guys, I hope that was helpful. I'm sending y'all love and light. Bless be.